Hey guys, sorry it's been so long since I posted a video. That's gonna be changing. In this video, as promised, I'm gonna give you the rundown of what you need to upgrade a Tormach Series 3 or M, whatever you have, uh, 770, 1100, with hybrid stepper motors. I have a, uh, links down below to where you can find the steppers themselves. Uh, you're gonna need 20, 30 foot of uh, four core wire for the uh, steppers themselves going to the drives. The encoders come with plenty of wire, so you're set there. And other than that, if you choose to jump it out to the uh, limit switches so that you can have it fault out, it's, it's a nice feature, not necessary to have it run. But uh, other than that, yeah, let's dive into it. All right, guys, everything you're going to need is in these pictures here. Uh, you're going to need some wiring. Of course, you're going to need the stepper drives themselves. Uh, you're going to need the couplings. Uh, the drivers come with the motors. The uh, IDC 10 connectors you'll need also. Uh, I have some simple ones I've got figured out here that I keep stock of. But uh, you can use just generic IDC 10 breakout boards. I've got a list for you here. And these are the specific uh, part numbers for the X and Y stepper drive, the Z stepper drive with the brake, uh, your three couplings, uh, your three IDC 10 breakout boards. You can get those off Amazon. The wire I've actually found on Amazon occasionally. Uh, whatever wire loom, however you want to protect the cabling from getting drug around in the tray. And for these three things right here, but put these quantities and these part numbers and email service it fast to buy with an RFQ. They'll get you a quote back. It's uh, pretty reasonable. Uh, shipping will startle you, but it is uh, it's pretty quick. They send it by DHL, so that's a lot of weight, a lot of boxes they send at one time. So I, I've been happy with their service, and it's well worth it. Uh, you're going to need the manual. Uh, you'll also want to pick up a high su uh, parameter adjuster. Sorry, let me go back here and touch on that. Do not buy it from here. Uh, include that in your quote with uh, Fast to Buy, and they'll get you one for twenty bucks. You know that that they're not this expensive. They're they're twenty two dollars, twenty one something, and twenty two dollars. You know it's yeah. Th there's better options than here, but this is what you're looking for, and you'll need it to set these parameters uh, if you so choose and one of the important ones is the alarm level if you're doing the if you're tying the driver alarm into say your access drive so that it will fault out if there's a access fault you ha this by default is set to uh, open which will trigger it uh, when you don't want it to trigger you need to go in and change parameter 10 to a 1 it's pretty easy. There is a manual for the high suit driver, but uh, but yeah, there you go. Um, the only other thing you're really going to have to set on the drivers is your switches for stepping. And I'm going off memory here, but the 1100 is set for 2000, and I think the 770s are set for 1600. Um, don't hold me to that. Check the drivers that are. Uh, in there and being taken out uh, and just set your new driver's steppers, micro stepper settings the same as what you're pulling out of there. Um, if for some reason the motor's turning backwards, uh, there is a switch, I want to say it's switch to, let, read your manual here and it will tell you which one, uh, yeah, which one to, which one your dip switches to to flip for that it's also on the silk screen but uh you can contact jmc directly but uh their prices are the same as fast to buys and uh I, I, if you're buying in bulk you, you you're good to go through there but otherwise uh they're also a little slower getting stuff out and they want you to wire it a little a little scarier um anyway get yeah, download the manual read through it it's pretty simple uh, you'll connect the motors, the A positive, the A po negative to the A positive and A negative. You use the uh, 
power wiring off the Tormont drives. So it, it's actually a pretty easy switch over. Check out my other videos on the uh, installation. And like I said in the intro and the exit, uh, yeah, holler at me if you have any questions. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, that's all I got on this. Uh, more videos coming, as you can see. Working on an ATC. We're going to have some videos on that. Uh, there's a coolant ring coming, so I'll be doing my own coolant setup. Uh, you know, I might as well just do a video on that. Anything else y'all want to see, please uh, let me know. Put it down in the description below. That would be great. Uh, yeah, anything I can help you out with. YouTube's a great way to get in contact with me. The uh, comments down below, I get pinged on those, so I know when they happen. Uh, Facebook's kind of iffy. I don't always get... I, I have my notifications turned off for that, but I check it kind of regularly, and, and I'll see those. Uh, Instagram's great. I'm on there, but the messaging, not the best way to get in touch with me there. But I, I do find them eventually, so if it's no hurry, yeah. But uh, there you go. There, there, there's ways to get in touch with me. Plus, my website has contact form and stuff. So, all right. Uh, yeah, back into video mode. We're going to have some more stuff coming out, so stay tuned. See y'all later. Bye. You're a popular boy, aren't you? Yeah. You just, you just want to be insta-famous? Good boy. Okay, let me do the video. Thank you.